new to Atlas Earth? Or are you just looking for a new mobile app to make some money on the side and you're thinking about playing? Or have you been playing for a while and you're just looking for some tips? Well, I've got you covered. In this episode, I'm going to cover Atlas Earth comprehensively. I've played for more than five months now, free to play, and earned more than $85. By the end of this video, you will not only know what Atlas Earth is, but you're going to know how to make the most out of the game as you're playing along. Hey all you Atlas Earthlings, welcome back. Bronze Dragon here. Uh, if you're new here, uh, thanks for dropping by. I appreciate your time. Whether you're looking for Atlas Earth info or you're just looking for a new app to um, make money off of, um, appreciate your time. Okay, um, I've been playing for Atlas Earth for a little bit more than five months now. And early on in uh, my playtime, I made a eight top tips uh, for Atlas Earth video. And uh, that was after I'd been playing for a few weeks. And it still stands up. Um, but I felt that uh, the game has changed uh, to such a degree. And I've learned uh, a lot about the game uh, as time went along that I felt it was time to remake this video. Now, uh, right up front, uh, I will warn you, this is a longer form video. Um, but it's going to contain tons of information if you're thinking about playing Atlas Earth or if you're new to Atlas Earth or even if you've been playing for a while, you may pick up a few tips. So, um, And obviously, if I get something wrong or if you think I missed something, go ahead and leave them in the comments and we can continue the next time I try to or uh, next time I do this type of video. Video, um, it'll just get better so I appreciate that and right up front I will also say uh, please like uh, the video take a minute and like the video and if you like this kind of content and want to continue to get it into your inbox please subscribe and ring the bell for notifications whenever I put out a video I try to keep my videos segmented because I cover a lot of different uh, games on this channel although Atlas Earth is one of the bigger ones um, so I'm not spamming you hopefully if you only subscribe to one channel you don't get the spam from the other channels. so uh, that's the uh, idea behind that and also if by the end of the video it takes quite a, a long time to go ahead and put all this information together and put it into video form. If you got any value off of this, please consider uh, leaving me a super thanks uh, with the button below the video. Okay, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and dive in. This video isn't going to be separated into like top five tips or top 10 tips. I couldn't really come up with that. I mean, all of this information I have categorized into five different categories and it's not from most important to least important. I think this is all important stuff to understand if you're going to play the game. So we're going to go along uh, category wise and I'm going to list the category and then I'm going to fill in the details what I think about the category and what I'm trying to get across. Okay, so the first category is where everything starts. And a lot of questions from new players and people thinking about playing the game really wrap around this question, right? Okay, so know what the game is and what it is not. This game is all about collecting land. You earn in-game Atlas Bucks by participating in various activities to earn the in-game currency called Atlas Bucks to in turn buy parcels of land and also uh, badges within your passport and they affect the game in different manners which we'll cover in a bit in different section. However, that's not really the heart of the game and uh, there's a lot of questions that people have when they first starting because they don't understand what this game is. This game is all about marketing, okay? So in game, as players, we earn Atlas Bucks, buy parcels of land and badges, and that increases our virtual rent, which you can see at the top of the screen here, which you can collect in real world money. But the idea behind it is, well, how does the Atlas Earth team earn that money off of us to be able to pay us rent, okay? There's a lot of discussion, a popular video I had uh, out uh, called Is Atlas Earth a Scam and things of this nature. And there's a lot of debate about it. But at the heart of this game is pure marketing. From the, the ads we watch every 20 minutes 
to earn our one or two Atlas bucks, depending upon where you're at in the world, to all of the ads we see in the Atlas Arcade games, which you have a full list, you play through the games, you know that these games have a lot of ads therein where you can earn all marketing. Go back to uh, another uh, um, way they make money is uh, through the Get Bucks option and the AMP program here in the United States. All advertising on the part of the uh, restaurants and other places within the program that are advertising through Atlas Earth and even back on uh, the travel program, if you use the travel program. Uh, all of this is advertising money. These are companies using Atlas Earth as an advertising mechanism. And they're paying Atlas Earth their advertising dollars to get their name out and in front of people. And that is the main source of money that's coming into Atlas Earth. Now, right up front, I have no connection to the team and, so, and I don't have an eye on the numbers. This is just what I see uh, as a player uh, over the last five, a little bit over five months. Now, other sources of money coming into the game and to the development team, uh, you know, like the newer, the relatively newer um, legendary parcel upgrades, those are quite popular, and uh, those go in. Uh, that goes to the team as well as um, the Explorer Club, which we talked about in a previous video, and we'll talk about here in a few minutes. Um, that money, um, and this is all extra recurring or reoccurring profit that goes into the team. But at the base, they're getting their money from advertising, and this is also the key to one of the most popular questions posed by new players, especially outside of the United States. Why do we only get one Atlas Bucks per 20 minute video? And in the States, they get two. And also games are paid out at different rates and uh, several different things within the game are paid out at different rates. This all comes down to advertising dollars. And this is what the team has listed as the reasoning behind all of this is that the advertising dollars um, are stronger in the United States versus other countries. All of this advertising and the extra forms of income that come into uh, through the game to the uh, company that runs the game are what uh, feasibly keeps the whole rent program uh, going, um, enables the game to pay you back money. So that answers a lot of questions right there. What is the game? It's an advertising platform. The second main tip is understand how the game works. If I had to narrow down this video to one top tip about playing Atlas Earth, it's knowing how the game works in that how your rent goes up or goes down and how that's affected. These charts can be found on the Atlas Earth website under the support section. The ideas behind playing Atlas Earth are the same across the earth, wherever you happen to live. But each country you may live on or live in um, has a different chart to play by. You can see I play by this chart in the United States. If you live in these countries, you would play by this chart. If you play in Mexico, you would play by this chart. If you play in Germany or France, you would play by this chart. If you play in South Korea or Japan, you would play by this chart. And at the time of this recording, those are the countries, well, I don't think South Korea and Japan have released quite yet, but the other countries have. Um, the idea is that know your tiers. So this first tier in the United States is one to 150 parcels, okay? And during that time period, during that tier, I get a 30 times boost to my rent. Now, once I exceed 150, uh, 150 parcels, even at 151, I go down to 20 times rent. And if I did that, I would, by the numbers, start losing money compared to where I was because I lose, lost the boost, okay? And as we go further and in other videos, I've discussed this in more depth as far as the term tier jumping. 
And tier jumping refers to saving up enough money or sa saving enough Atlas bucks to jump from 150 upwards to 220. Now there is a point there in where it's called the break even point, which you could jump to say 210 or something like that and be even with what you were making in the first tier because of the loss of the boost. Okay. Now I don't want to get into the weeds on this, but the first and biggest tip I have is understand your tiers so you can make a logical and educated choice when you want to go over those numbers so you're not surprised if you happen to start losing rent. And also the, uh, the point behind that is understand which chart you're playing on and your tier levels. So as you can see, if I played in Great Britain, my first tier would stop at 60 and I would lose that 20 times boost and it would go down to 15 times when I hit 61. So more than likely, uh, I would want to go to 60 and stop. And uh, depending upon your strategy, either by Atlas, uh, by badges to get your boost uh, under the passport or save up enough Atlas bucks to go from 61 to 100 all in one fell swoop, thereby losing uh, or taking that whole period of time where I would be losing rent because of the drop of boost from 20 to 15 times. I know this sounds complicated and until you uh, wrap your mind around it, it is a little bit more complicated, but keep in mind, you don't necessarily have to play this way. This is just what I've termed the most efficient way to use your Atlas Bucks and bring your uh, virtual rent up. Making decisions on these charts will prevent you from going over tier and losing rent when you did not intend to. So basically this is all information to help you uh, make more uh, informed decisions on how to play the game, not just randomly buying parcels left and right. Of course, you could do that if you want and take what the game gives you. Uh, but the way I'm playing, free to play, I'm trying to use my Atlas Bucks in game the most efficiently as possible. Now that brings me on to my next point is boosting and understanding how boost works in the game. Now back over here on my phone, you can see it's grayed out at the top right, um, but you that's the boost button. Okay, and if you're playing this game, you should really be boosted as much as you possibly can. At any one time, you can boost up to six hours. And I don't think you're ever going to get that perfect six hours. It's all down to timing, but you can get up to five hours and 59 minutes boost at any one time. Now, if you are part of the Explorers Club after October 1st, 2024, you will be able to boost up to eight hours. Now, the reason I'm talking about this is this takes your rent from a very, very minute, negligible amount up to a nice amount, depending upon your boost here, which we just talked about. And we'll look at the chart here in a minute again. This was built into the game to keep people avid and paying attention to the game. And there is a referral bonus, which is another tip I will be giving uh, later on in, in the presentation. And you can progressively see that the boost goes down and these charts, uh, once again, uh, the numbers are different per uh, country that you live, live in. But the idea is that the more parcels you own, your boost level goes down. However, with the amount of parcels you own, this uh, draws more importance to the super rent boost event that happens twice per month. Now, as you can see, as I gain more parcels, I currently have 220 and I'm at the 20 times uh, boost. Uh, I'm getting ready to do my next tier jump, which will take me to 290, but that brings me down to 15 times. And ultimately, people who've pl been playing for quite a lot longer than I have are up in the two, three, four, five times. So on a daily basis, they have more parcels, but they have less boost. So the super rent boost which kicks them up to 50 times across the board, no matter where you're playing, your rent uh, during the super rent boost 
goes up to 50 times. And once again, that happens twice a, uh, twice a month. So during Super Rent Boost, it always behooves everybody to be boosted the entire time. But my main point is, as you go along in the game, acquire more property but less boost, that Super Rent Boost becomes more and more important. Another main component of knowing the game is how the passport works. Now, after you've been playing for a week or two, um, you start uh, figuring out that, hey, I need to look at this passport and see what's going on. What is it? Okay, it's a location-based system which requires you to go, get out and go different places to be able to buy a badge from your uh, locality, your city, your state, your country. Um, and this is really becomes the more of the in-game collection process because it gets harder and harder. It's pretty easy to get the areas around where you live. But as you fill in more of these badges, you have to go out further and further and further, which comes to one of the main tips that we always talk about on the boards and people ask about who are relatively new. In that, should I, I'm early on, and I'm buying parcels of land, and maybe I only have a few parcels of land, maybe I have 10, 15, 20 parcels of land, but I'm getting ready to go on vacation. That's going to take me out of state or wherever you happen to live. Okay, in that situation, in my opinion, it's always best when you are going to be outside of your normal living area to go ahead and save Atlas Bucks and buy badges, okay, because it may not be precisely helping right now in your game but it will prepare you for the future and make later on steps through the passport easier for you because once again as you start filling out the passport it becomes increasingly harder to find these badges and sometimes it, it gets harder to find the badges than actually saving up the 200 atlas bucks to get the badge starting off you have zero boost from your passport but as you collect through the different levels, you get various percentage of boost on your rent. As you can see, to get into that level one, it only requires one badge. And then automatically, you get a 5% boost across the board for your rent, right? But to go ahead and get into level two, you're going to have to fill in another 10 badges. That will bring you up to 10% boost across the board and so on and so forth. And you can see that the amount of badges become more. And after my next tier jump, I'm having to, I'm getting ready to have to tackle this level three to be able to get into the 20% boost. Okay. So it progressively goes up and uh, level five is the top and you can see it contains a ton of spaces for badges. At this point, if you get to level five with one badge in, I don't see any reason to continue on. Of course, they may change that in the future, but to get the boost, you only have to be one badge into the level. As you can see, I'm receiving a level three, 15% boost across the board to my rent with only one badge there. Taking this discussion one step further, it is a popular approach to the game to interweave these um, activities, meaning collecting tiers of parcels, and collecting tiers of passport badges and interweaving them um, at the best uh, financial point to make the best difference uh, and basically not lose money, basically keep progressing the most efficiently. I'm over on Tasty Wallet's uh, website where he contains, well, uh, he, can, he keeps up a very good um, beginner's guide, which I always keep linked in my videos because I think that most questions you would have when you first start off, or even after you've been playing for a while, you can go through his guide and um, you can find an answer to. About midway down through the page, you see um, this approach. Uh, and this is, I've talked about this before, but the whole point is interweaving the buying of tiers of land and tiers of badges to make the most efficient progress in your uh, play. Now, this isn't for everybody. You don't have to play this way if you don't want to, but to me, this is the way I've been following. And you can see that, for instance, uh, he says buy parcels up to 40, uh, buy one badge, and this applies to the US chart, but in other countries, you would apply your chart, like in, in Great Britain, it would be 60 instead of 150, buy badges, do tier jumps, buy badges, uh, etc. And as I, as I said, I'm right here on step five in my particular progress because I'm at 220. 
getting ready to jump to 290 and then to six, uh, 625. So I'm getting ready a little bit down the road to have to buy my badges to 61. But my whole point is you should think about uh, how you want to play the game and reference the charts and these particular pieces of information and make logical decisions uh, instead of randomly do things. Uh, you could randomly do things, but that's not going to be, um, in my mindset, uh, the most uh, efficient way to bring forward your play and make more money quicker. My next point uh, addresses, uh, once again, a lot of these points I'm making address questions people frequently ask when they're relatively new to the game. <clears throat> this game is based around, uh, in most cases, where you are at at any one time. And I'll give you a, a few for instance. Uh, for instance, when you want to buy a parcel of land, you have to be there. Okay, you have to be in that area. Okay, you can't scan out to a major map of, of your country and then zoom in on something. Okay, you have to be in that area to buy that plot of land, parcel of land. Not only that, if you want to put that parcel of land up for sale, you also have to be there to actually tap on it on your screen. When I click on the buy land button, I have the option to buy anything on my screen there, okay? Not just in the circle. I can come down, you can see my main road. This is outside of my house. My main road in front of my house, I have a few squares uh, beyond it, but if I wanted to buy some more, I could go ahead and buy those parcels of land right now. But if I wanted to go anything to the left or right, I would have to reposition my map, which you can. There's only a few different views you can get. Um, and buy some parcels up to the left or right of my yard. Uh, obviously they're oriented top and bottom now, but you have to be in this particular area to buy or to sell this land. So I could go ahead and click on one of these that I already owned and I could put it up for sale. And if somebody wanted to buy it from me, they could, but they would have to be right outside my house to go ahead and buy it off of me. Another big thing that is dependent upon where you are at any one time is um, the events or are the events okay there's a lot of different events that are under the events tab now and you can see that the fishing warship super rent boost are all on the list these are all upcoming events right um, but they uh, go by where you are when they start uh, so this usually comes into question when you are getting ready to travel okay so an event takes starts whenever uh, that time zone you're in it's going to start and then when you get to where you're going say you're say I'm in the United States I'm flying to the UK once I cross the time zones and my phone uh, starts seeing that I'm moving time zones the game it reports that to the game and then the game takes that into uh, account and then when the event is ended goes by you know like I'm in uh, I'm in the UK now, so the event will end whenever uh, it's supposed to end in the UK. The third major topic I'm going to cover is play the game. Now, Atlas Earth is not a game in the traditional sense, but there are many gamified elements that go into it. And I would argue that being logical with your choices and uh, how you upgrade your parcels as far as uh, jumping tiers and how you choose to go ahead and buy badges and where you selectively put your parcels and how some people get artistic with it there's a lot of gamified elements to this game so i'll continue calling it a game but some people would call out that it's not a game in the truest definition but my main point in this section is know how to play the game now the first thing I'm going to go over is uh, under the shop, the main thing is you can see here that I have two free Atlas Bucks available. And at this point, I click on it and I watch a advertisement. This is the main bottom level thing this game is based upon. They want to show you an advertisement and in the United States, they'll send you two Atlas Bucks for free. Outside of the States, you'll get one. Once again, that comes down to advertising brought into the company and advertising decisions. You can see now that the ad's done, I press uh, continue and I have my two free Atlas Bucks. Those occur every 20 minutes and that's the basic thing that you can do in the game to continue Atlas Bucks rolling in to buy more parcels. 
In the US, know that you have the AMP program available to you. This is once again, another advertising program to various uh, places uh, in your locality, as well as online that you can sign your credit card up for. And when you use that credit card to buy from these uh, uh, merchants, you receive uh, a certain amount of Atlas Bucks back for that purchase. And it's not always the same. And I'm not quite sure why that is. My guess would be that the merchant pays more for the advertising uh, to Atlas Earth. Uh, and thereby they can put out more Atlas Bucks for it. Um, uh, it can, I've also been told by uh, one of the moderators that uh, this, uh, these advertisements are focused and strategically uh, sent to you. Uh, I don't know exactly how that works, but for instance, I can tell you that in my area, um, I use um, one of my favorites is SaladWorks because look at that. I get four Atlas Bucks for every dollar I spend there. And when I buy a salad for me and my wife and my daughter, that ends up to be a couple hundred Atlas Bucks um, for that four times bonus. A lot of them only have one. Um, but my main point is if you live in the United States, take advantage of the um, AMP program and it will help out a lot. Now, a lot of people outside the United States point out, hey, why don't we have the AMP program? They're working on it. Um, what they said, what they released was when this game started more than two years ago, it took two years to get the AMP program started in the United States. So they're working on it for the newer countries uh, that have just come online in the last year. This game has made rapid progress and rapid expansion this year. Um, now, uh, you know, at the beginning of 2024, it was only available in the U.S. and Canada. Now there's five, six, seven other countries available, and they're working on more. This all comes down to working with the credit card companies. Every country has different credit card laws, so it's a lot of red tape. Um, I would assume that the company would have it open to everybody if they possibly could, and they're working through it uh, from what they've said. So use the AMP program if you're in the States and you can. Another tip on this that I found is in some certain situations, uh, you can double dip. Earlier, uh, I said that salad works. We like to get salads once in a while, and I take advantage of that in the AMP program. Well, guess what? Salad works already also has an app. And if you order through that app, you get SolidWorks points, which can be turned in for free food and goods and everything like that. So you can get your, um, if I order a salad through SolidWorks, I not only get my uh, Atlas Bucks for free uh, at times four, um, but I also get uh, my SolidWorks points and can turn them in for a sandwich or salad. So if you're going to use a um, local provider in the AMP program, make sure to check to see if they've got an app with a rewards program and use them both at the same time. If you happen to travel often due to work or personal reasons, you can try out the Atlas Travel uh, program as well, which would give you a quite a large amount of Atlas bucks if you can make it work. Uh, it's just like going into uh, any other travel program and trying to um, uh, schedule your trip, where you're staying, etc. I don't have any specific details on this because I haven't used it, although I have heard report that people making thousands of Atlas bucks off this if you can make it work. So try the Atlas travel program um, and see if you can make it work for you. Now, the diamond hunt is which I would consider uh, as far as um, uh, the daily activities, like the second um, most important thing to do on a daily basis. Okay, the first one being Watch your 20 minute videos as, as many times as, uh, as you can, can on a daily basis. The second thing is make sure you have um, enough cushion of diamonds so that you can do your five diamond spins every day. So as you can see, I have 882 diamonds currently. They just pop up on the map um, randomly. And so if you're traveling in a car with somebody, don't do this while driving because it's an extreme hazard. But if you're a passenger and you're driving along, this is the best thing I've found to do is just ride along and collect diamonds. Now, the only thing at this point in time, there's been a lot of discussion, but the only point uh, thing at this point in time you can do with them is spin the wheel five times a day. And the wheel, I can't show you the wheel currently because I've already done my spins. I do them pretty much as soon as I wake up in the morning. So I don't forget. But, um, you have the option of usually you get, uh, you know, four to 10 Atlas bucks per day. That's what I've found. 
Uh, you do you do have the possibility of getting 15 or 50, but those just happen so infrequently. Um, and some days you get hardly none because there's options of getting a diamond on the wheel, and that means no Atlas Bucks. So it can be frustrating, but it is a steady stream of Atlas Bucks. So make sure you have enough diamonds cushioned uh, or you have enough diamonds in your pouch, so to speak, so that if you get laid up and can't leave your house for a few days, then you have diamonds to use for your five spins. Right along with that tip, this kind of goes hand in hand with it. If you click on the little calendar to the left, you will see your daily login bonus, which is exactly like it sounds. Uh, you have to log in every day and you try to keep your streak going because if you miss a day, it will reset on you. Um, you can see on the left is the free streak boost and you get one Atlas buck per day. But at the 30, I was trying to show you the bonuses, the 30 day mark, you get 50 bonus, uh, 50 Atlas bucks. At the 60 day mark, you will get um, 80. And at the very end, when you go all the way through, you will get 200 on day 90. So it behooves you to log in every day and collect that bonus. Now you will also notice that on the right, you have what's called the Explorer Club, which also gives you a bonus but it's much larger. You can see that 90 Atlas bucks per day uh, is a nice little uh, login bonus, right? But you, this is a, um, a membership. Uh, you have to subscribe to this. It costs $49.99 US um, to join per month. But as you can see, you get a lot of Atlas bucks uh, for it, but it's a lot more efficient than buying Atlas Bucks outright on the website or on the app. Uh, so if you're considering putting money into the game, uh, which I haven't at this point, but if you're considering, this is the most efficient way to do it. And as of October 1st, 2024, they are changing the way the Explorer Club works uh, in that you have to, if you join fresh, you start at day one. Okay. And to get that uh, big 1200 Atlas Buck bonus that we just saw, you have to basically subscribe for three months in a row. But at the end of the first month, you will get a nice bonus. And I'm fishing through here. The bonus is 500. And then at the 60 day bonus, uh, 60 day mark, you will get 650. So it, when you look at the numbers, being part of the Explorer Club is a lot more efficient money wise for Atlas Bucks than it is to just outright buy the Atlas Bucks. One of the next major tenets of earning Atlas Bucks in game is using the Atlas Arcade, which once again, as we discussed earlier, is marketing money coming in from these game developers to Atlas Earth to promote their arcade games. If you go into Atlas Arcade, you will see that you have, I currently have a reward boost going on. So these happen, uh, I don't know, maybe twice a month, I'm not sure. Um, and during these events, there is extra Atlas Bucks, I think 50% extra Atlas Bucks for um, downloading new games. This does not apply to previously downloaded games. So, and it's good for a few days. Now, I will mention this right up front because this is also a major tip. Don't go in and download a bunch of games. Be specific with the games you download and you're better off saving games to download during the bonus event. Because once you download them and make best use of them during the bonus event to get that 50% extra, then they go into your My Games section and once the bonus event is no longer uh, active, you just get the regular, um, the regular amount of Atlas Bucks for whatever you're achieving through the game. And as you notice, we go into the game, we can see that uh, I completed the tutorial so I got 40 instead of 27 because I downloaded this during the current event. I'm working on restoring the eighth kingdom, which I'm almost there. And I will have, I will receive uh, 106 Atlas bucks instead of the usual 71. Okay. So uh, one of my main points here is that as you download more games, there's a smaller selection of games that you have available to take advantage of during these events. So it behooves you to download a game during an event and push through as much of that game as possible during the event and take advantage of it. 
And then once it shifts over and the event is no longer active, um, go ahead and continue that and finish it off as you can. But be very strategic about how many games you download because as you download them into your My Games section, um, they're not going to be available for the extra 50% of bonus in the future. Plus, you will have much fewer games to select uh, going on. And the selection gets kind of cheesy at points. I will also mention that uh, recently, relatively recently, they've put uh, time periods on the game. So you'll notice that I just downloaded Dice Dreams um, two days ago during the event, and I have 160, 176 days left to complete all my awards through that game. After that, I will not be able to recover any more Atlas Bucks off that game. So it behooves me to download it during the event and press through that as fast as possible, then move on to the next game I want to do. You will notice below that is Merge Dragons. It does not have a time period listed on it because I downloaded that a few months ago before they started that. I can uh, take my time. I play that on a daily basis, but it is there's some of these games that are very slow moving games not all of them are created equal as far as the rewards you get you just have to look at the game and see if it's going to give you enough atlas bucks that's going to be worth your time there's a lot of people that report especially outside the united states and especially on android because the awards are different on android versus ios and i can't give you an exact reason i'm not on the team I would guess that it all comes down to marketing uh, and uh, as uh, that that's the main answer for a lot of this, right? But you have to look at the games and what they're going to give you and say, hey, is that worth my time? And then make a personal decision on whether you're going to do it. But overall, the best thing is to download during the extra 50% event, press through the game, get done with it as soon as possible, and then move on to the next. The next relatively new thing uh, in the game that you can do to earn Atlas Bucks is surveys for bucks, which just as it sounds, like a lot of these services you see online, you can go in and you can take a survey. Now, uh, a few weeks ago, um, they took this down and they reworked it. They said they improved it. Um, I've got like, uh, I don't know, maybe a 25 to 40 percent. Um, maybe maybe 35 percent chance of taking a survey and it actually going through um, my point there is in a lot of cases um, you're going to get into the survey and uh, you're going to find that you're turned down you're not a specific focus group that's how surveys work right however uh, in a lot of cases, you will get a few Atlas Bucks out of it for actually trying. But if you actually fill, uh, go through the survey and complete it all, then you'll get the full reward. Um, a note on this, it gives you some time periods here for each. I'll automatically expect that you're going to take twice as long because these, uh, these time periods that they note, they, they're just not correct. So uh, my, uh, this point is try out surveys. Some people have good luck with it. Some people don't. You know, uh, especially if you're in a situation where playing uh, at this point in time, playing through the Atlas Arcade games is not going to net you a whole lot. Try some surveys. You may get lucky. My next point is understand the other game systems, even if you don't plan on using them. One of the most basic systems within the game, which brings income into the, the development team, is uh, users like me and you uh, actually just buying Atlas Bucks instead of playing for them. If you go into the shop and you scroll down, you, see, you will see some options here. You can buy 100 Atlas Bucks, which is basically one parcel of land. You can buy 315 for $15. You can buy 900 for $39.99. Or you can buy 2400 for $99.99. But there's a better way to do it. If you log into the website and go over to buy bucks, you will see that there are a lot more options as far as buying bucks. You will see that uh, the 100 Atlas bucks, which cost $4.99 on mobile, over here you get 110 and so forth. You get more by buying them on the website. Why? Because on mobile, they have to pay the store, the Google store in, in the case of Android, the Apple store in case of Apple. They get their cut, so it's more expensive to buy on mobile than it is on the website. So the point here is you can even buy 
9,000, uh, uh, $99,999.99 worth of Atlas bucks if you wanted to, which would met, uh, net you 3,200,000 Atlas bucks off the website. But the main point here is if you are going to buy Atlas bucks, buy them off the website. Notice I say, if you are, because I don't, uh, I am playing free to play. Obviously, in some situations, this uh, option might come in handy, and we'll discuss that here in a minute as far as mayor, governor, and presidentships or prime ministerships, depending upon where you are in the world. Um, this might come in handy if you are competing with somebody, um, but um, the return on investment, if you want to call it that, uh, is a very long time period when you start putting money into the game. I feel that overall, if you actually want to put money into the game uh, to, you know, buy parcels more frequently, get more Atlas bucks, etc., then the best option or the better option uh, is the Atlas Explorers Club, which we talked about earlier. Uh, if you come to the uh, website, you can hit the Join Now button. This is not available on mobile. Like I mentioned, it is $49.99 per month. But if you do the numbers, you get a lot more Atlas bucks for your dollars versus just coming over here and outright buying them. The next item to understand is to know how the whole mayor, governor, president, um, system works and they do have different ter terminology depending upon where you are uh, where you live uh, but basically you're going to have the leader of a locality the leader of a much larger locality and then the leader of your country uh, so that's the basically it works out and to become one of these leaders you just have to have the most parcels in that area now uh, when you are on the main uh, uh, map uh, tab here in the game, you can click down at the bottom right above by land and you can see uh, the area you're in and you can see who is the mayor, the governor, the president or whatever the terminology is where you happen to be. You can also see, uh, this is a relatively recent change, uh, you can see how many parcels they have um, and in case you're competing with them, you can go ahead and um, no longer can you sneak up on them because they can see the amount of parcels you have as well. But uh, this, this promotes like a competition, right? But the whole idea is um, if in the prog uh, progress of your account, you become the mayor of an area or the governor or president, you will uh, incur or you will receive 10% of all of the badges bought in your area. Earlier we talked about the passport badges uh, and you can see that I have a number of passport badges from around my area and every time I bought a passport badge the person who was the mayor of that area received 10 percent of that and it progressively snowballs once you become the higher uh, level um, office. So if you become the governor of a state you will receive 10 percent of each badge which is 20 Atlas Bucks bought in your entire state and then country you can see why people are competing for these positions now it may be relatively easy uh, for you to get um, uh, mayor of your locality if you live out in the country in the united states um, it might be easy to make that but on the flip side there might not be people traveling through uh, your area very often that buy badges now in the reverse people in big cities uh, may there's probably a high competition become mayor because there's a lot of people there playing and a lot of people buying badges on a daily basis so there's a lot of income coming in and as we discussed uh, in another video about somebody uh, becoming the leader of the game and progressively becoming the president or prime minister there is a lot of atlas bucks that start snowballing into your account where at a certain point you're not spending a whole lot if you did spend any money on it and you're getting a lot of atlas bucks for free so that system is definitely worth thinking about uh, in a lot of situations i'm taking as it comes i'm not specifically shooting for it but if it occurs so much the better but it's definitely something to know about the next item to know about is parcel upgrades one of the new uh newer uh, within the last few months things they've added to the game is the fact that you can actually upgrade a parcel of land you can take a common parcel of land that you own and upgrade it to be legendary plus on top of that you'll receive a different uh, piece of artwork like in this case we have the fall forests available i could upgrade a common parcel of, of my land uh to a fall far fall fall forest artwork 
as well as upgrade it to legendary for 2,500 Atlas bucks. Now, this is not as far as earning money, uh, as far as uh, upping your rent. This is not uh, at the top of the list. This is not worth it, basically. However, if you want to make your map a little different, freshen it up, if you like artwork, different artwork, you can go for it. Uh, obviously, it helps out a little bit uh, uh, making it common to a legendary, but it's not the most efficient use of your Atlas Bucks. It is available though, and these different pieces of artwork are only available for a limited time. So as you can see, this Fall Force is only available for another 23 days. There are three different types available, but it's something to understand, and uh, you may want to do it. Uh, you may consider the 2,500 Atlas Bucks better spent on 25 parcels of land. The mini games are also worth mentioning. Uh, they're another uh, gamified uh, aspect of the game. They're small mini games that occur and they take either one or two hours, depending upon which game. Uh, you do have to have um, some Atlas Bucks set aside to be able to play this. Like I would suggest about 200 Atlas Bucks to be able to compete but you also have to have that time where you can just focus on this game. Uh, I don't play these often, uh, and people ask me why. A lot of people report that once you get good at it, it's a good source of Atlas Bucks. But for me, it mainly come down to a lot of these are just like timing things, where it's one of those games where you're just waiting for a timer, uh, 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 a pendulum to get into a certain area and then click the button exactly right. Um, for some reason, I'm not really good at these games, so I don't play the games. However, a lot of people do, and uh, some people report making a good amount of Atlas Bucks off of them. But keep in mind, you do have to have Atlas Bucks saved up to be able to do them, and you do have to have the time. You have to have the time set aside to just dedicate to play these games. Definitely worth trying out um, and seeing what you think of them. And the last system I want to mention is the referral program. First of all, for everyone who's watched my videos and used my referral video uh, referral code, thank you very much. It's helped in my progress. I appreciate it. But this is available to everybody. So if you have other people you know, friends, family, if you have a YouTube channel, if you have some kind of other social media that you uh, use a lot, use your send your referral codes out um, because it will help you out. Use the invite friends. Uh, you can generate a code through that. Send it to somebody email, a text message, uh, copy it, and uh, put it into a... Um, uh, like a social media box or something, I put them in my YouTube videos. It does help out. And how that works is that, first of all, the codes are good for 15 uses. After that, they're defunct. Their main use is that the person that uses the referral code gets 200 free Atlas Bucks when they hit their 11th parcel in game. By the way, if you wanna start playing, my referral code is below in the uh, show notes. Now, secondly, the person that does the inviting gets 10 Atlas Bucks for free on each parcel that new player uh, buys up to 10. You know, so the first 10, the referrer gets 10 free, so that's a total of 100. And then at the 11th, the person that used the referral code gets 200, which is double what the referrer gives. And then they're able to buy basically another two parcels of land or a, um, a badge in their passport. And lastly, what would a play to earn game be if you weren't actually earning something? So let's take a look at it. How do you get your money out of Atlas Earth? This is my home screen. You can see at the very top, I have a little bit, uh, almost $81 saved up there. If I click on that bar up there, I will get another screen that shows me my accrued income. And uh, you can see I have two options now. The one at the bottom says uh, when your accrued income reaches $5, you can re redeem it now for real money. If you click on that, you can see I've done a $5 uh, redeem redemption in the past just to prove that it works for another video. But you can go ahead and click on redeem now. You click on, you put in how much you want to redeem, and I'm not going to go through the process, but it leads you through the process of asking, okay, well, uh, how would you like to redeem this? Uh, would you like to get PayPal? Would you like to put in your bank account number and have it sent direct to your bank account? Would you like to uh, get gift cards to certain major uh, places online? Would you, there's even a, an option that if you want to uh, donate it to uh, big charities. So this is a very easy situation where you can go through and cash out. Uh, they've improved the system over the months. Um, there used to be a thing in place where anything over like $12 required a manual, uh, a person to look at it, which sometimes extended uh, the time it took to get a payout. 
Um, they've said that this is no longer in place. Although if uh, if some if a payout looks shady or if there's something that tricks trips the algorithm to make um, a, a manual inspection worth it, um, it will send it to the team. And sometimes you, there may be still a, a manual approval needed, but in most cases, um, most cases the payout is almost automatic within a, a few minutes. Now, if we go back, you can see there's also the option under the green button here, I can convert Atlas bucks, or I can convert real money, rent, into Atlas bucks, okay? And you can see here that uh, 80, uh, $80 real money rent would get me 2,000 Atlas bucks. However, once in a while, and I don't know what the frequency is, I think it's once a month, um, the general playout, payout is 25 Atlas bucks per dollar. Once in a while, there's an event where it kicks it up to 33 Atlas bucks per dollar. So if you were choosing to go this route, uh, this would be a route to go ahead and reinvest what you've earned from the game into the game. Um, I would wait until the event trips off and you get the alert that um, you get in 32, 33 instead of 25, you would get extra Atlas bucks for your dollar. However, I still maintain that I think the best way to reinvest your money into the game, if you were going to do so, would be to turn around and get the, um, you would have to take that money out to uh, PayPal or what have you, and then turn around and buy the Explorer Club. I still think that's the best um, way to reinvest your money and get more land and badges out of it. Okay, this has been a long one. Uh, once again, thanks for uh, making it here to the end with me if you checked it out. Uh, once again, I'll mention please like and subscribe if you haven't. Um, uh, this is chock full of information, and this is a video that I really wish that I was able to find when I first started Atlas Earth. Um, there are some other people that make uh, good content, uh, especially Beer Money Network, and also I mentioned uh, Tasty Wallet um, has a channel on YouTube as well. Um, they are very good with the numbers, uh, so watch the Beer Money Network or shout out to Tasty Wallet as well. Um, they're a lot better at the numbers than I do. Uh, or I am. Um, I look at things from top down and I'm trying to use, uh, my, my opinion is if somebody else much better at math has done the numbers, uh, I'll go with what they have and see uh, how things go along for me. And so far, everything's been working out fine. Like I said, I'm getting ready to take my second tier jump to 290, which will be uh, a video in the coming, uh, probably this next week sometime. With that said, uh, Hope this has been useful uh, if you're a new player uh, or thinking about playing the game. Also, if you've been playing for a while, uh, let me know in the comments what I missed, if I missed, if you thought I was wrong about something or something you want to emphasize. If there's something you've learned while playing Atlas Earth, uh, go ahead and stick it in the comments and uh, emphasize it. And like I said, the next time I do this type of video, it will just help to improve it. So this has been Bronze Dragon. I hope everyone on your side is happy and healthy, and I'll see you in Atlas Earth. Thank you.